Hey Sarah, this is Mike with Rural Life Photography. Thanks for sending over some photos. I'm sorry I did not get to them yesterday. Uh, thank you also for purchasing my presets. Um, so you sent over several files. I'm only actually going to work with the non-JPEG files. The CR2, .CR2 raw files are the ones I'm going to work. Uh, all four, well, the first three have similar lighting. And then the fourth one, uh, it's a little bit more low lit. And I'm going to breeze through some edits, so feel free to uh, take note over here on the right-hand side of what I'm doing. So here's your four images going to develop. The first thing that I like to do, um, especially when I didn't, especially starting out, I would go through and click through the, the presets that you bought and kind of see which one gives you the best starting base. So I'm going to do something similar. One, So from just looking there, I have kind of settled on, I think on for this one I'm going to do RLP09. And the reason why I chose RLP09, RLP09 is probably my most vibrant uh, preset. And I just wanted to make sure I captured all this color. Now be careful that it does have a little bit of grain. I created a, a remove grain preset here just so that I could drop the grain out. Uh, so you'll see when I click it, the grain will go away. That's the only adjustment on that particular preset. So, uh, one thing I noticed is the light is coming in this way. So, what I'm probably going to do here is kind of drop the exposure down a little bit. I'm then going to take this um, radial filter, put this here. We'll do a little bit of that. And then position that there. I think something like that and that's just more or less to emphasize what you should be seeing here that the subjects are here uh, and not all this other stuff here so I just wanted to darken that other stuff up and then but keep the exposure pretty consistent right here on the the kids here next thing I think I'm gonna do for this particular image is I might up the contrast just a little bit and then I think on the luminance, I'm going to take the oranges and brighten the oranges just a little bit. So I like that. I think I might take the blues brighter. And I think that's all I would do to this particular image. I'd leave it just the way it is. All right, we're going to go to the next one. I would normally, because this is a set with similar lighting and this, uh, the same scenario, I would use RLP09 again uh, just for consistency's sake. But for uh, this, these particular edits, just to show you uh, the different presets, I think I'm going to use RLP02 on that. And this, you can tell, is a little bit warmer of a, of a preset. And do that. Straighten this a little bit. <clears throat> Might put up the vibrance a little bit. Take the luminance to the oranges a little bit. And I'm just looking at this here when I'm making that change to the luminance. And then I think I'll take my blues up a little bit. And I think I would leave that the way it is too. Maybe I would take the reds and brighten the reds just a tiny bit as well. Sometimes it's nice to go to extremes to see what it looks like. And I think I would. I think I would brighten up the reds quite a bit. And last one here for this particular set. And this is actually a freebie. Let's see if I can make it work here. So 
So you can notice that on this particular preset, the the orange goes leans to a bit of a reddish hue. So I'm actually going to correct that over here. Somewhere right in there. I'm going to drop saturation down a little bit. I'm going to raise the hue of the orange there a little bit. Probably take the there, there. <coughs> and this particular preset has, or no, it was just actually shot with a 800 ISO at f3.5, so that's why you see a little bit of green, a little bit of green in there. All right, on to the next one. It's bath time. Uh, bath time is one of my favorite times to set up off-camera flash because you have all these white walls you could do something very similar set up a flash and just bounce the flash turn it up pretty high don't point it directly at them but kind of bounce it around here uh, and you can get some really nice light so I think on this one I'm gonna go with RLP03 plus plus it's a little bit lighter I'm gonna up the exposure I'm gonna take the white balance and drop it down a little bit. I'm gonna desaturate my oranges just a tan. Up the luminance a little, just a little bit. There. Sorry, that was my cell phone going off. And I dropped the green out on this. So there you go. There's your four edits. Hopefully, <coughs> it provides a little bit of insight into how I edit images and just as a bonus just because I'm filling it today let's see hopefully I don't make myself look stupid let's see let me find a photo to do I'll do one of mine as well mm -hmm. uh, I'll do one of these Let's do, let's do that one. So right off the bat, I'm looking right here at the at the vertical lines. I'm going to try to get those as straight as possible. I'm also looking at this one here as well. And I'm actually going to tweak that a little bit more. Somewhere right there, and that's pretty even-ish. There. All right, and then from there, uh, I, I chose a bathroom photo just because you sh you shot one as well, and you can see actually a little bit of reflection of my my flash up here in this area here. But I think for this particular one, I'm gonna go with 09. I'll remove grain, up some contrast just a tiny bit. Take the whites this way blacks this way I drop the vibrance down somewhere right there I'm gonna take my greens I like the greens right here take the greens and jack those up a little bit I'm gonna drop my oranges just a tiny bit take my blue and take my purple and let's see what messing with the yellow does I'm gonna drop the yellows down a little bit there. I'm going to look at my highlights as well. I don't want this too bright. And that's it. That's how I would edit that photo. But I wanted to show you this bath photo because you could do exact, it was something very similar. If you have a flash, just kind of bounce the flash. I mean, I have mine on a light stand over here in a soft box, but you could go bare flash, I think, and uh, just kind of bounce it off the walls, and you're going to get this nice lit up situation where the lights kind of just flooding everywhere uh, a very high contrast image so uh, hopefully like I said hopefully this was helpful if you have any questions Lightroom related or Photoshop related or just want a second set of eyes on something please post it to the group and I'll be happy to help you out have a good day